Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Okay, well, um, my craft room is coming together, but I still do not have very much room to move, so apologies if I hit the camera again. I am working very hard on it. <laughs> I'm spending almost all my time in my craft room, unfortunately I'm not getting a lot of crafting done. But, yes, we will get there. So today we have an interesting little project that, um, yeah, I just sort of happened for no rhyme nor reason. But um, I have all of these sort of kids' book pages um, where the font is quite big. Uh, it's not huge. Um, I've definitely got books that have got bigger font, but these just happen to be loose and lying around the place. So I thought I would have a little experiment with them. So I am going to cut each line of the font um, apart from all the rest. So this may be tedious to watch and I'm sure the next bit will also be very tedious to watch. Um, but, you know, <laughs> hey, sometimes we do stuff. <laughs> it's not that exciting to watch, but the I think the end product is... Yeah, it's interesting. It's worth trying out. Um, I do, at the end, make a couple of pieces with this just so that um, you get some idea of what you could use it for because, um, yeah, it's a bit of an unusual project. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to cut these apart and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll continue on once that's done. I was just going to do this on my glue book, um, but you really can't see much there. <laughs> so I'm just going to fossick around for this piece of black um, card. I think it's an envelope from something. And try and create on top of that so that, um, yeah, you get the idea of what um, I'm doing. Because, yeah, um, text white on white background on text on white background is not the easiest thing to see. Um, so, anyway, as you can see, and you've probably already guessed, I am weaving these um, tiny little strips of paper together. Now, I'm keeping mine running in the same two directions. You could, you know, change the direction of your font around as much as you like. Um, like I said, this was a bit of an experiment, so I haven't really followed it through any further um, as of yet. So... I'm not sure what I prefer, but um, this has ended up looking okay, um, so I would definitely do this again, but yeah, I would like to try um, maybe alternating the, the direction of my font or just changing it up once in a while, just to see what happens, but um, for now we'll stick with, you know, just the same direction each time. <laughs>
As you've probably noticed, I'm not taking a particularly enormous amount of care um, as to how this is stuck together. Um, whether or not that's a mistake is, I guess, up to your interpretation when you start to sort of cut it apart. Um, yeah, the least amount of care you take sort of gluing it together at this point the more prone it is to falling apart while you're trying to work with it. Um, I felt in the end of the day this was um, a reasonable trade-off. Uh, I didn't want to be gluing every little bit in piece. Um, I quite liked cutting raggy ends into this so having it loose worked for me. But um, yeah I guess it's an each to their own sort of situation. If you prefer to have that control when you're working with it then probably spending more time in um, gluing it properly at this stage might be advantageous but um, yeah I guess it's just a feeling thing um, in the end of the day I wanted to be, be able to dismantle this a little as I was using it um, if it was thoroughly glued together, that would be very difficult. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess it's all about experimentation and just working out what works for you. Right, once this last piece is in it's time to try and pry this off of my piece of black card um, it did stick itself um, to certain spots but it did come off reasonably well um, well enough that it doesn't bother me in any case and here we have it it's just a little yeah <laughs> woven placemat of paper <laughs> very very small placement but that's okay um, a little bit goes a long way so let's go and find some things and have a play with this and see what it's good for I'm actually hunting out my small scissors here um, I can't find them and end up using my big ones for a little bit but um, yeah then I just lose my temper with the whole situation and find the small scissors because yeah they're going to be much more useful in this application. These are just some um, index cards that I have lying about. Um, they've been coffee dyed and have a bit of stamping on them, but um, yeah, they've been in my stash for, oh, I don't know, three years or more. <laughs> I use a few here and there in a journal once in a while, but um, yeah, I have a big stack of them and thought that maybe adding a little bit of this to one of them might look a bit interesting. So I grab some and um, yeah, I'll do this one and then um, yeah, we'll see what else we can dig out of the the piles of stuff around here. <laughs>
And this is one of my um, reproduction stamp cards. Um, yeah, I um, just figured a bit of this might add something to it. So, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I'm just wandering around my room grabbing anything that sort of comes to light. Um, as I think I've said several times recently, my room is a total mess at the moment. So there's bits and pieces all over the place. Um, so yeah, I just grabbed a handful and uh, I'll just use this little bit of weaving <laughs> to um, jazz up some of it and see if we like it. That little pink piece is just a piece of my handmade paper. Um, I do believe I accidentally um, shredded a, a red napkin and it ended up in there. And um, I ended up with a batch of pink paper, which was <laughs> quite a surprise and um, quite lovely. So um, I do believe I have um, actually thrown a package of um, pink pink napkins in with my um, box of paper that's um, building up to do some handmade paper just for this particular purpose um, yeah napkins solid colored napkins make um, very pretty paper <laughs> when mixed in with other things that's where I'm going to leave this today guys I hope you've enjoyed this little project it was something new to me and I think it turned out quite effective <laughs> anyway, thanks for being here and I'll see you again next time. Bye.